There's a unicorn at Chipotle. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston, wishing you a blessed time wherever you are. Finding reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life. And yes, I just had me some Chipotle, and there was a unicorn in there, and I wanted to make a wish, but I couldn't catch the, the unicorn. I don't know if that's how it works, but it's all good. So I'm out with my cousin that doesn't like to be on camera, but she's going to be on camera anyway. And... We're gonna go see if we can find some more paint because I want to do an art project this weekend. So we'll see what happens. And I am still a bit tired, but my energy is a little bit better after eating. Um, hopefully I don't have to poo anytime soon because I don't want to. I know it's rhyming because I'm having fun right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, so since this vlog is supposed to be um, highlights of the week, um, I guess the two, hi two highlights I can give is um, Marie's mother, Mia, is out in Egypt, and for the first time in months, she's happy. She's calm. She's got issues to come home to. She's got problems to come home to. She's been so, you know, I'm not going to get into all her personal stuff, but for her to relax even for five minutes, you know, is a miracle. So for her to be in Egypt with her fiancé, my friend, Mo, and her being this at peace and feeling calm, even with everything that's going on on that side of the world as well, she feels at home there. She's happy. Um, another positive for this week, I guess, would be um, my mother. Um, those of you who don't know, and if you've watched my vlogs, you've heard me say it before, she's legally blind. She's got other health issues. Um, but the last couple of weeks, she's been involved in a, um, a group counseling session for those, of, those who have lost their sight you know, in one way or another, and she's been actually enjoying it and connecting with other people and getting out and feeling good about it. So, um, to hear that she's enjoying that, hearing that my cousin is doing good, that makes me happy. To know my family's doing well, you know, you know, puts my mind at ease, puts my heart at ease, you know, because I, that's how much I love my family. You know, and that's how it should be no matter what. Your friends, your family, when you hear that they're doing good, especially if they're usually struggling with something, you know, you got to praise them. You got to, you know, be excited for them because, you know, just having that good, feel good feeling brings that back into your life as well. It's not about you, but, you know, it, it just helps you to, you know, feel good about your life and feel good about where you're going. You know, and if you heard me last night talking about uh, Russell, my, you know, Mia's son, Marie's brother, um, and, you know, how he's been struggling between work and uh, school, I talked to him today, and he actually seems to be in fairly decent spirits. Um, he is thinking of dropping out of school, but it... it it's in some ways it's actually a good thing because he you know he went for the semester you know he realized it's not exactly where he wants to be he knows what he somewhat what he wants to be doing with himself and stuff he doesn't know the how to get to what he wants to do but you know all I could do is encourage him and say listen just continue to do what you, you're doing you know he's very you know ambitious and very informative you know he educates himself, he does research, you know, in, in, in things to that nature. So I told him, I said, look, you, you're young, you know, don't let life get the best of you. My, I've done that, your mother's done that. You know, so many people have let their dreams and their goals fall to the side. If you need motivation, look at people like Steve Jobs, The Rock, you know, Tyler Perry, whoever, whoever's going to be your your muse or whatever 
you know, someone that started from nothing and went, you know, became something, or, you know, they dropped out of school and, you know, became highly successful or whatever, you know, you know, just don't give up. Keep doing the research. There's programs throughout Massachusetts that I'm sure he can find and involve himself in. And just doing the the, the search online and, you know, he's I know he's got amazing things coming to him. So anyway, I guess that those are the highlights of this week. Um... All right, so I just got something in the mail, and I'm going to show it to you. It doesn't fit me the way I want it to, but I'm actually still happy to, to get it. You know I'm a big fan of Fousey. You heard me say it a bunch of times. Well, I just got this in the mail. This is from his, uh, his product line. All right, it says, The Grind Don't Stop. I'm trying to do it so you can actually see it. And unfortunately for me, these run really small. This is actually an extra large. I mean, I could obviously put it on, but I can't close it. <laughs> but I guess you can say that's motivation for me to, you know, lose more weight and keep going on my journey. I might try to order the next size up, although because this is so small as is, I think the 2X will still be kind of small, but it is what it is. I'm happy to have it. This is to show my support for, for Fuzi. So anyway, hope you, this is, this is my little gift to myself. So anyway, see you in the next shot. Hey, so look, now you're on my YouTube. <laughs> I'm not pointing it at you. Yes, you are. Okay, now you're not in it. Look, see? Yeah. <laughs> I hear your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to make leftover um, uh, sweet potato quinoa burger, black bean burgers I had the other day. Uh, making some broccoli with it. And... The, the Grind Don't Stop hoodie, I'm giving it to Marie because I'm a little, I, I'll have to be honest, I am a little disappointed that it didn't fit the way I wanted it to fit. Um, but it's all good. I'm just going to order the next size up because I really like the hoodie. I don't know if the other one's going to fit that much better, but I want the hoodie and it will be incentive for me to continue working out, doing what I got to do. Um, cause like I said, I have been um, slacking a lot this week. I don't even want to say that I've been slacking. I've just been extra tired. I haven't had any energy despite trying to still eat healthy or whatever. So um, I know I had a couple cheat meals this week. But I'm not giving up. Tomorrow I'm, is another day. Um, I'm going to spend tonight just kind of clear in my mind and I'm gonna start fresh um, anyway I'm gonna end this I know this is a little disjointed and everything um, but we did have some positive things come out of it this week um, so it's still a good week it's still a fantastic Friday but until the next video as always thank you for watching please subscribe give it a th thumbs up and as always like love share and inspire much love. Peace.